All right, what's going on everybody? This is Levi from Gordy's Cards. Uh, I want to go ahead and show you some pickups. This is pretty much everything that I bought in the last month. Well, I mean, obviously July to, uh, 1st to now. Um, I think I've got one more card coming from eBay, but I want to show you this before I go to the National. I'll obviously uh, share my pickups from the National as well. But uh, real quick, if you enjoy card content, um, please go ahead and uh, subscribe so you don't miss a video and then obviously liking commenting that sort of thing would really help me out um, but yeah let's go ahead and hop into this um, let's start with all my raw pickups um, I'll just tell you what I got if I remember the price I'll let you know what it is and kind of what my plan is if I'm gonna uh, what I'm doing with it long term how long I'm gonna keep it that sort of thing so so first I'm gonna go through and do these are some pickups that I got in Indianapolis um, at a card shop called the fan cave Really nice shop, really nice guys. They had good prices on uh, most stuff, especially in their kind of value bins, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so first I picked up these two Kobe Bryant hoops cards. Um, this one with the goofy little rookie card uh, top loader, I paid 25. And as you can see, this is a pretty clean card. Um, I'm pretty conservative with a lot of my stuff, and I think this should get a nine at SGC, where I'll send it off to at some point. I'm not in a super hurry because I'm still grading a lot of football stuff. But yeah, this Kobe, I think it'll get a nine. Uh, paid 25 bucks for it. I think it, it was comping at like, you know, closer to 30 or 40 on eBay. Um, so I was glad to pick that up. Any Kobe's, you know, under market price and he's already kind of in a depressed market. So uh, this is another, uh, the other Kobe. I paid 20 for this because as you can see, it's got a soft corner there, a bit of a soft corner there. A uh, little bit there. Yeah, basically all the corners are a little soft. You can see a hair bit of chipping. Um, still, again, nice card, 20 bucks. Um, I'm going back and forth on this. I'm just going to hold it, probably hold it raw for a while. Might grade it at some point, but might also just sell it raw to show or something. It's a nice card. I know Hoops is a lower end set, but it's a nice Kobe card. All right, so then I got these three burrows. Um, this is the Clearly Donruss one from... Uh, uh, Chronicles Football. I paid five for this. It was going for about fifteen on eBay. Um, I need. I'm gonna look at it with the centering tool again. I was thinking about sending this off to SGC. I may actually just put it into Com C or at a local show and just sell it like this. I haven't decided. Um, I've got one of these. If you saw my last one, and then I think there's another one out for grading. So I've got a couple slabs of this already. So I haven't decided. Um, this one is just a regular rated rookie Donruss. Um, as you can see, pretty sharp corners. The centering was pretty dead on when I looked at it with the centering tool. Um, I believe I paid 10 for this. It was going for closer to 15, 20, 25 on eBay at the time. I would need to double check. But I'm gonna send this one out to SGC. I think this will 9, 5, or 10 probably. Um, you know, I'm a little conservative on my cards, but my last return was quite good. So um, now this is the rated rookie canvas. This was probably the best deal that I picked up out of the the whole day there when I was in Indy. Um, I paid 15 for this, and it was going for 30 on eBay. Um, you know the canvas one's kind of like a parallel. It's a little bit nicer than the rated rookie, so I was pretty happy with that. It looked good when I looked at it with the centering tool. It's got sharp corners. I'm going to send that off to get graded. Um, I like Burrow stuff long term. Um, I know that the organization he's with is not the best necessarily, but I really like Burrow long term as a quarterback. I think he's a good hard worker, saw him in college. Um, now these four, these are more PC pickups. Um, again, not every card in your PC needs to be super expensive. You just need to like it. So I got these two uh, for $3 from a seller on eBay. Um, so it looks pretty nice. Got the silver prism and the regular one. I was mostly buying it for the silver, um, but you know the regular one as a bonus, I was also happy with. So um, yeah, I like Charles Barkley. I like all the Team USA stuff. Um, you know, long term, I think it's cool. But even if it's nothing, I really like. Uh, I just think it's cool to collect some of the Team USA. So this is another one, um, mosaic silver Barkley. I think I paid four dollars out the door on eBay for this, like three ninety nine with free shipping. So okay, you know, add twenty cents or whatever for tax. Um, seller threw in a couple free cards, which was nice. But yeah, Silver Mosaic, Barkley, uh, USA Basketball. Again, I like Barkley stuff. I think it's you know undervalued. But mostly, I just I think Barkley's funny. I think he's a cool guy. I enjoy ha having his cards, and the Team USA stuff is cool. And I've heard from some other people that long term it tends to sell pretty okay. So 
And this one I just got at my LCS actually. Um, paid a dollar. It's a dollar card. I just really like a lot of these um, like newer releases of some of the older school players, if you can't see. So NBA finalist, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Um, I yeah, I think I just bought it because I think it's cool. So all right, so this lot. This is the one that I was actually the most excited for as far as my raw card pickups. I'll put that one last because that one's the best part. Um, these are all LaVisca Chenault cards. I believe I paid about $35 out the door on eBay because a seller had this as a lot. And he didn't really call out some of it, some of the better cards. So I think I did quite well. $1.50 a card. Some of these go for more than, uh, some of these go for like almost as much as the lot. And you'll see what I'm talking about later. So that's LaVisca Chenault um, Concourse Select, LaVisca Chenault uh, Purple Concourse Die Cut. I like the Concourse Die Cuts the best, actually. They're not the rarest die cuts, but I just think they look the cleanest. Two rated rookie optics. Um, this is a, uh, you know, another clear one from Chronicles, a Dynagon from Chronicles, Omega from Chronicles a uh, Gridiron Kings from Chronicles, another Select Concourse, Select Premier, Select Concourse, and Select Certified Rookies. Um, most of these are probably going to end up going to ComC. I might save the purple die cut and the two optics, you know, kind of for PC and then maybe also to consider to get slab, but pretty much all these are going to go there. Might save some of them to sell at local shows, but obviously I'm in Michigan, so I don't know how well the he'll actually sell but I'm very high on um, LaVisca Chenault long term if you kind of look at uh, first his production last year with three different quarterbacks that were not named Trevor Lawrence and then um, what they've said about him in OTAs this year I think he's set to be a pretty good uh, pretty good player now I think there's a couple good Jaguars that actually have decent offensive potential but I really like Chenault seems like a hard worker um, was it uh, what's his name the totally blanking on on a coach or urban meyer sorry but urban meyer said i just love who he is as a person so i think lavisca is going to be a really good breakout player so i was feeling good on this lot so there's four emergents um which you know the emergent right now isn't all that crazy i'm going to hold on to those for a second and then maybe put them into com c or sell them locally or something like that but i think the emergent inserts are cool but they don't sell for crazy money um, but yeah, like I said, I'm very high on LaVisca because I think that this year he's going to have a bit more of a breakout year since he'll have some stability at quarterback. I mean, he had what Mitch Trubitsky, Jacob Eason, and um, Gardner Minshew was the quarterbacks last year, and he still had, uh, does it, no, it doesn't have it on here. It'll have it on the select, I think. Um, but I mean, he still did like, I want to say 600 yards receiving and a couple touchdowns. So that's pretty darn good for a rookie receiver with not a lot of support. So um, two prisms. Uh, this one's off center. It's definitely going to go to Com C. This one's pretty well centered. Might hold on to it, and if he starts to do well, might grade it with SGC. This is the mosaic. Um, I still need to learn how to center the mosaic. I think that it's a really nice looking set, but I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this one yet. Good chance it just ends up at Com C. Um, I think a lot of these I can probably get two, three, four, five dollars for in season. Um, you know, I bought them for a buck fifty a piece in the entire lot, and that's not even the most exciting part of it. So this is the last. I saved the best ones for last. So these were in here, and not all these were called out properly by the seller, which is why I think it went for so cheap. This is the LaVisca Chenault Field Level Silver. Field levels are not super easy to pull, and then the silvers are obviously even harder if you know select. Um, probably going to grade this last SGC 9.5, did like 75 bucks, and again, we're still kind of in the off season for football. And he uh, does about $20, $25 by himself on eBay right now, I'm seeing, for the silver. So this was almost worth the majority of the lot. But I'm probably going to send this out to Com C to get, or not Com C, to uh, SGC to get graded, add some value there. And, and there's not a ton of LaVisca that's graded yet. And I think that he's going to be a bit of a breakout. Um, so this is the regular Optic Hollow. It's a hair bit off center. So I think this one will probably like 9.5, maybe 9. But Optic Hollows, really nice looking cards. Um, and again, if I'm not making crazy money on all these, I'll probably keep them as long as he's doing well. Um, Optic Hollow Bronze. So I think that looks quite nice as well. I don't know how much harder it is to pull, but it is, no, not the easiest to pull. So, um, And then here's just a regular field level. Probably graded this as well. I've compared both the field levels against my Burrow that Gem Mint Tend, and they both look pretty good. Um, I think I send these out. I get 
two tens and then two nines or nine fives, and I'll probably end up, you know, making my money's worth on that and definitely the lot, not to mention all of those right down there. Okay, so I know this is getting a little bit long, so I appreciate those of you that are still with me. If you are with me, I'd definitely appreciate a uh, subscribe or a uh, like, um, or even if you just comment what you think of some of the stuff you've seen so far. So now I'm going to get to the graded stuff. Um, yeah, so let's get to the graded stuff. So we'll start with this pile. Leonard Fournette Optic Hollow. Um, this was like 20 bucks out the door on eBay, $14 plus shipping and tax and all that. So I just thought that at 20 bucks, that was kind of a steal. I can, you know, sell, trade it at a local show if I need to. Um, but Leonard Fournette ran for what? Almost 90 yards and a touchdown in the Super Bowl. So I thought that for 20 bucks, that was a steal. This is not a long-term hold for me. I don't invest like in running back super long-term, but I just thought this was a great price for how good he's playing right now. Um, go ahead and we'll do this one again. Joe Burrow, Prism Black, and actually I'll show this one as well because I bought these from the same seller on eBay um, at auction. I paid $22.50 for this and like $40 for this, I think, and then I did combined shipping. So, I mean, out the door, I got about $30 bucks a piece into them. Um, I mean, they're cheap slabs. Again, I can probably sell them local if I need to, but I'm pretty high on Burrow, and these Prism Blacks cost about $30 bucks to, uh, to buy anyways, $29 to... Grade cards with SGC. I think it's a cool looking card. Um, again, if they don't do anything, keep them in my PC, but I think that it was hard to go wrong at 30 bucks a card, um, especially since I will be doing some local shows this fall. So um, let's see. This is Serena Williams. Um, it's the Net Pro number one. It's a PSA 9. I actually overpaid on this because I made a mistake. I thought it was the, um, the glossy one, I believe, or it was the Elite. I think it's a glossy that's still orange. Either way, I thought it was a different card. My mistake. I'm still glad to have this one. It's pretty nice. Again, I overpaid on it. I'm probably going to hold it for a while because I think, you know, she's a goat. It's a good long-term hold. I don't think these are going to be the easiest to grade. Um, I think it would be best if you can get a 10 uh, to buy. But you see it's black and orange. So lots of ways for the white to come through. So, all right. Next, Anthony Edwards, um, SGC9, uh, Prism. Again, we're like, basketball's dropping like a rock. I think I paid like 40, like maybe 50 bucks out the door. It's 40 some odd dollars. It's 20, 30 bucks. To, it's, I think it's about 25 or 30 bucks for the, the Prism now, 29 to grade it. And as you can, like, if you know the Prism recently, it's been fairly off center. That's why this one got the nine, I think. SGC is pretty strict on it. But I mean, I thought that that was worth it. I'm mostly buying football now, but I thought this was a good deal. So I picked this up. Um, I do think Anthony Edwards will be a solid player, and I like his prices relative to LaMelo right now. All right, so these are both the same cards. I actually, um, so I think I got 61 into one and 75 into the other. Prices have fallen a bit on this, but I really like Kyler Murray. Um, well, Kyler Murray by himself, and then I like the select cards as well, because I think that um, this was a hobby-only format for a while. Now that it's gone retail, a lot of people really like it. I think the cards look nicer than Prism. I think people are going to start to flock to the Select. So I got these two. Um, these two Select. I think I've got two or three of this one. I think just two, actually. And then I just have... Um, um, I just have... Uh, what's the other ones? Two or three... Two. Definitely two of the Premier level, which is like one rarer. So... Yeah, I think that uh, these were going to be good. Um, they're not as liquid as Prism, but I was getting better deals on these than Kyler Murray Prism. So I was buying most of his select, and I like the cards better. So um, so these next two I actually went in on with my business partner, also known as Dad. Um, so this is a Josh Allen um, select premier level. I think I paid 120, we, we paid 125 or 145 one of the two for this. Um, we bought it from the same seller as the next one, and actually we got two Kyler Murrays from it. He took one of the Kylers, um, because I bought one from another seller as well. But, um, so I'm really high on Josh Allen long term. I actually have another Josh Allen Concourse Select coming. I don't think this is going to rise as quickly in value as, like, be as quick of a flip as, uh, Kyler or as, uh, Lamar, who I've got a lot of Lamar Jackson cards as well. But... I really like him long term. Think he's a good quarterback. Think the Bills are knocking on the Super Bowl again this year. Um, so we'll see. I'm probably going to hold the the two selects for a while because if you haven't looked at the pop reports, 2018 select 
there's like just not a ton of out there. And I was getting better deals than this in the prism. So um, the next one, actually, I'm going to save the other one I bought with my dad for last because I think that's the the, the coolest card. Um, bought this. This is a Roger Federer PSA 9 Net Pro International Series. Pretty cool card. I think I paid about 30 bucks out the door. Um, you know, consistent with comps. There's a pretty big dip in Roger Federer recently. If you haven't looked, he's a goat. It'll come back. I'm not a big tennis guy, which is funny since I have two tennis cards in here. But I think that uh, Roger Federer and Serena long term are definitely good holds. Um, you know, they're goats. So that's that's what I have to say about that. All right. So this is the coolest card I think. Um, it's soccer. Trying to build up what I own in soccer. I only own a few like. The Killian Mbappe, and then we've got some jointly owned, um, well, more Mbappes actually. But pick this up. Um, yeah, I'll just go ahead and show it to you. This is the 2018 Donruss Lionel Messi PSA 9 Optic Hollow. Paid, I want to say, 125 for this, which was right in line with comps. Now, there was an auction that I missed that went for like closer to 100. So I guess I should have looked at that and tried to win it at auction as well. But I just really like this card. This is not one for flipping. Gonna hold on to this for a while. Messi's obviously a goat. I bought this before he won Copa. Um, I think Optic Hollow is a beautiful card. Um, this is pretty low pop. There's like 52 population on it. I think there was like seven transactions on all of eBay in the year leading to it. So wanted to buy this as a long-term hold and I think it's a really, really cool card. So yeah, that's been my pickups for July. Like I said, I've got one more um, Josh Allen coming in. That's going to be a select concourse. But other than that, I'll just be looking to pick up some stuff at the National next week, and I'll obviously be sharing my pickups with you guys. So yeah, if you made it all the way through here, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, and then comment if you have one pickup that you think was just like particularly cool to you. So yeah, thanks again for being here this long, and I hope you guys have a great day.